Okay, so today is a pretty special video. I have heard this sentence so many times on the platform and I hope that I would never have to tell it myself, but today is indeed a really special occasion. If you have any interest in Japan, you should know that today is finally the day when Japan opens its border to foreign tourists. I still recommend you to check whatever is required in your particular situation, but for the most part you just have to come here and uh, get your tourist visa at the airport and you're good to go. Just like before all this mess started, I am so happy for the ones who had the dream to visit Japan and had to push it back because of the restrictions in force over the last almost three years. And of course, I'm also super happy for the ones in a situation similar to mine a few months ago, not being able to see their loved ones for an extended period of time. So yes, on that side, I am genuinely super happy, but if I have to think about my YouTube channel, it is a bit different. I have been lucky to have a very decent growth for this first nine months on YouTube, and I often receive really nice and well-intentioned comments that keeps my spirit at the top and reboots my motivation to keep creating. But I also receive some comments saying that people have been waiting for an English-speaking YouTuber living in Japan, or at least making regular photography-related content from Japan. And this made me realize that because I have been able to come to Japan as a student and therefore before the country's full opening, I had a competitive advantage. I was one of the few in that niche. My content could have been not the best, but just because of this special aspect, some people started to follow me. To the point that I have been worried about what is going to happen when everyone will be able to come here and your well-established YouTuber will come and go and make beautiful videos here in Japan. Will I be forgotten and have to say bye-bye to my growth on the platform? The answer is that I don't know. I don't have the ability to see the future. Future. But an ability I have is to give a second look at the situation and try to find the positives that could bring more competition on the Japan photography YouTube scene. You know, we all are at least a little bit competitive. Some people more, some people less. I have played football in a highly competitive environment until my 18, 19s, and I think it grew my competitive mind probably a little bit above average. And you know, the common definition or understanding of competition we have is the fact that we must try to be better in any kind of way compared to the ones facing us, but also most of the time compared to the ones on our sides. But recently, I watched a video from a very good photography YouTuber and writer called Sean Tuck. His approach is more philosophical and his videos are always so interesting and worth watching. In the video I watched, he talked extensively about what is competition and went all the way back to its etymology to find out that the idea, the definition we have of the word competition now, is probably incorrect. If we stick to the etymology of the word, it is an association of two ideas, one being to aim at and the other being together. So competition rather than being me versus the other, it originally meant seeking together. Your competitors should not be the one that you pull down or you get pulled down by, but more so they should be the competitors that drag you up in a healthy competitive environment. If we look at the movie director scenes, famous ones like Spielberg, Coppola, George Lucas and Scorsese were actually close friends who had regular meetings to enjoy time together, but also to share ideas and give each other feedbacks, sometimes harsh, but always constructive about their works. On the photography side, Vinogrand and Meyerowitz were actually close friends and both street photographers in New York. But instead of keeping their location secrets or doing anything in that vein, they actually went on photo walks together. But you must be wondering where I'm going with all this talk about competition. Now that the Japan borders are open, I will lose some sort of exclusivity I had. Yes, but the opportunity is to meet creators coming here to spend some vacation or to create content will probably be more numerous. And with the right mindset in regards to competition, it can be a good place for growth, both for my own and for any person I would hang out with here. So all in all, I am very pleased with Japan finally opening to everyone and really look forward to meet any of you if the settings make it possible. 
and I will not miss this chance to make a little personal plug. So if you like the aesthetics of my Japan pictures, it might be the good timing to consider buying my presets. The timing is indeed really good for the obvious reason that Japan is now open, but also because I will be running a special discount on them for the next two weeks. Please check that first link in the description. I am sure you won't be disappointed and it would mean the world to me because it is currently the best and most effective way to support my work and help me keeping that consistency in the quality and frequency of my uploads. I am done for today, so see you soon, maybe in Japan. Matane!